guys welcome back to my channel if this is not your first time here and if it is your first time here welcome to my channel my name is Silem very pleased to meet you please consider subscribing in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to draft cut and sew a corset so we're going to talk about how to draft a perfectly fitting corset I'm going to show you guys how to insert your breast cup into your corset how to make a bone casing for your corset and how to insert your bonings into your corset so it's going to be a very very detailed video very explanatory very easy to understand as well so if this is something you're interested in definitely definitely keep on watching Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draft our basic bodice. The first thing I did was I drew my baseline and now I'm marking her bust point, which is um, 11 inches and her under bust, which is 14 inches. I'm just going ahead to extend those lines. And now from the baseline again, I'm just marking her half length and I'm taking 18 inches for her half length. Now I divided her bust measurements by 4, placed that on a bust point line and added 2 inches allowance. I also divided her shape measurement by 4, placed that on the under bust line and added 2 inches allowance. I divided her waist measurement by 4, placed that on the half length line and I added 2 inches allowance. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect those 3 um, points with straight lines. Now I divided her shoulder measurements by two, placed that on the baseline, marked that point and added one inch allowance. Now from the baseline downwards, I simply marked eight inches, which is going to serve as her chest line. So I marked that as the chest line, marked the next line as the bust point, under bust and the waistline. So I simply just labeled all the lines. Now I'm just drawing a straight line to connect the shoulder allowance with the point I marked on the chest line. And now I'm drawing a curve from the chest line to um, the straight line I had drawn earlier. Now from the chest line downwards, I marked half an inch. And from the fold, I marked half an inch as well. Now from the fold, it depends on how wide you want the distance between your cups to be. So I want mine to be one inch. So that's why, that's why I marked half inch on the fold. So when I open that up, it's going to be one inch. So if you want yours to be more than that, you can simply make yours more. Now I just place my breast cup on the under bust um, point. Make sure that the bottom of the breast cup was on the under bust. And then I just trace the outline of the breast cup. And now I'm just marking half inch inwards, which is going to serve as my sewing allowance. That's very important so that um, the cup fits actually when you go ahead to sew it. Now I just join that point with the um, um, bust point. And then I'm just... Um, cutting along the um, the lines I had marked earlier. Now, taking another pattern paper, I'm just going to mark my um, my back piece. Now, I just placed the front piece on top of the back piece, but then I left um, zipper allowance. So I'm just going ahead to just cut out um, the outline, and now I'm just replicating the lines that were on the front piece. I'm replicating them on the back piece as well. Now for my darts from the fold of the front, I'm just marking four inches. And then I'm going to connect that line from the half length line to the under bust line. I'm also going to replicate that um, dart line on my back piece as well and replicate the other lines as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go, I'm just going to go ahead and cut um, along that curve for my front piece just following the curved line and the straight lines. Be sure that you're cutting along the um, allowance that you left after you traced the outline of your cup. Don't cut on the actual line where you had marked the outline of your cup. It's very, very important. Now for the back piece, I'm just drawing the zipper allowance line. And then I'm also extending the lines of all that I had um, marked earlier that I taken from my um, front piece basically now for the dart i'm also marking four inches from the zipper allowance line the front piece rather the dart stopped at the under bust line but for the back piece the dart is going to stop at the bust point line Thank you. 
now just place the front piece on top of the back again so i can get the um the top part of the back piece so i'm just trimming it down now because i'm going to be adding a loop i just went ahead to take out um, about two inches from the top of my um my back piece and then i when i got to the bottom part i took about one and a half inches just so that it's going to have that v-shaped um effect and then when i attach the loops the back is going to be open but it's going to be open in a in a v-shape <laughs> it's going to be over in a v-shape now moving on i just went ahead to use my pattern for the front piece to cut my fabric and my lining now i'm just going to go ahead and just join both of them together now i just joined the other parts of the um front and the back pieces i didn't join the um the curved part just yet because i'm joining them at the moment i'm joining them right sides facing but i didn't join or i didn't close or i didn't sew the curved parts i had gone ahead to um gum my lining with a soft gum just so that the corset has um more structure now i turned it to the right side and then now i'm going to just um, so the fabric and the lining along that curve I'm going to do the same thing for the other side as well and this is what it looks like I've gone ahead to iron it very neatly now I decided, I changed my mind about putting darts for that bottom part, for this front piece rather. I just went ahead to make my bone casing. So for my bone casing, it's about 1 inch wide and then the length is about 20 inches. It honestly depends on um, where you want to put the bone casing and how much um, of the bone casing you need. That's what the length would de depend on basically. So I just folded that piece and then I'm just sewing it on the wrong side. Now I'm using a, um, a broomstick and I'm just turning it to the right side. You can use anything you have that is tiny enough to, um, you know, turn your bone case into the right side. And then I'm going to go ahead and just iron that flat. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sew it on um, the, the front piece. So anywhere you want to put your bone case in, in any style or design you like, this is how you're going to do it. I'm going to also put the bone case in on the back as well. But this is basically how you put your bone case in. You can use a bias strip instead. It all depends on you. I tried to use a bias, but I didn't find any bias that was the exact um, shade of purple with my fabric. So I decided to just make my own bone case in with the fabric. By the way, this fabric is a raw silk or mirror face whatever you choose to call it now i've gone ahead to um to cover my breast cups with a the fabric and the lining i went ahead to cover the breast cup with the fabric and the lining i have a video on this i'm going to put it like this um the video link in the description box down below i just folded the breast cup so that i can get the center point or the midpoint and then i placed that midpoint on the midpoint of the curve on the front piece and then from that midpoint i'm just joining or sewing both of them together from one from the midpoint to one end and from the midpoint again to the other end and then from the midpoint again i'm just going ahead to sew it's all the way to the other end so this is what it looks like once we are done with that so i'm going to go ahead and repeat the process for the other side i made sure that i got the center point of my breast cup and then i'm just sewing it 
from the midpoint to one end and from the midpoint to the other end now alternatively you can do this from the wrong side i'm currently doing this from the right side so it's right sides facing but you can do this from the wrong side so you can place the wrong side of the fabric on the wrong side of the um front piece and then you can just go ahead and sew it now what that would do is that it would make your allowance to be on the front and then the the wrong side is going to be as it's going to be very very neat okay but the front um, the, or the right side of your um, corset is going to have that allowance showing and then you can use the bias or your boning casing again and then just cover it up so that's like an alternative way of doing this uh, I might do it another tutorial on maybe another style of corset and I might use that other method depending on if you guys want that anyway but for what I did I just went ahead to just weave the allowance that I got on the wrong side when I did mine. Now don't worry about the center part. If you find that it, um, you have an excess there, you can easily cut that off and then just tack it down like I'm doing now. So yeah, this is what we have. I'm just going to go ahead and put my my boning into the casing that's what i'm doing right now so just make sure that when you're inserting your boning the length is half inch less than the actual um length of the bone case now you want to put it in and then you just go ahead and tack it and this is what it looks like guys thank you so much for watching bye